Shannon's Minnow Start by going to a size 2 UFO2 bass hook. Place the hook firmly in the jaws of your vise, parallel to the ground. Now load a bobbin with 6 dot white. Here, this is a uni thread. Start your thread right behind the eye and wrap back before cutting the tag end off. Then go ahead and build a thread base from behind the eye to above the barb. Now go to some white marabou. Get two feathers or one really bushy one. If you get two, match the tips up. Once the tips are aligned, go ahead and pull the feathers together. Measure a tail that's nearly two hook shanks in length. You can cut the rest off and transfer the measurement to the butt end of the hook. Wrap back still making sure that the feathers extend two hook shanks past the bend of the hook. Now go to some white baby yarn. I find cutting it in 10 inch pieces makes a nice area to work with. Go ahead and take one of the tips and tie it um, a little ways behind the eye and again wrap down to the hook bend. And here's the tricky part. Now go ahead and take your thread off the hook and start wrapping the baby yarn and the tail together at the back of the hook. You'll wrap up about the length of a half a hook shank to a full hook shank. Sometimes it helps to hold the feather and the baby yarn with your off hand and take open spiral wraps up and down to where you create a nice bank, a nice base. Make sure to really cinch your wraps down without breaking your thread. This will help increase the durability of the fly. Once that's done, you can go ahead and transfer your thread back onto the hook, and then kind of half hitch it behind the eye. Now start wrapping the baby yarn around the area, co area covered with thread that was not yet on the hook. Make a couple wraps, about four or five will do it. And then once you reach the hook, go ahead and transfer your wraps of the baby yarn right onto the hook. And from here it's easy, just go ahead and wrap up to just behind the eye. Make sure to push the fibers back in order to get a full body. Once you reach your thread, go ahead and tie the rest of the yarn off. Take a couple thread wraps in front of all the yarn to make sure it's secure, and then go ahead and cut it off at an angle. Take a couple more wraps of thread and then go ahead and whip finish your thread. After that, you can cut your thread off. Now go back with your scissors. First, make a taper towards the eye and then a taper towards the tail. Make sure not to clip off any of the marabou. It may be rough going from the butt end down to the hook, but take 45 degree angle cuts from about the back end of the hook towards the tail. Again, making sure you don't snip any of the marabou. Try to even the rough curvature of the butt end right as the hook bend extends out of the baby yarn. This will give you a more minnow-like look. And then go ahead and cut up any rough areas around the trim of the fly. Kind of brush it out to see if you missed any others, and then you're good. Now go to some Mirage Eyes, here 5 30 seconds of an inch. This is ideal for the size hook we're using, another size 2. Now go to some super glue. First take one of the eyes and flip it over to its backside. Place a small drop of super glue, making sure not that it doesn't touch your fingers and get the eye stuck. Now about a hook eye back from the eye on the far side of the baby yarn. Go ahead and stick that eye directly in the middle of that side. And now with the other guy, I go ahead and do the same thing, place a drop of super glue and place it on the opposite side. 
And if you need to touch up the fly anymore, you can go ahead and do that now. The eyes are set. It's ready to be fished. And that's it. That's the fly.